Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we're targeting the very beginners once again and we are talking about the newly released HOM gimbal, the iSteady Pro 4. It's actually a guide, so if you are new to this gimbal, well, this is the video for you. Today we're using the GoPro Hero 10 Black with the HOM iSteady Pro 4. The gimbal can hold and control the GoPro cameras from Hero 5 to 10. We're gonna start by talking about the batteries and how we can charge our gimbal. Now, on the side of the gimbal, we will find a door. It's a silicone door with two different texts. The one on the top says DC out, the one at the bottom says DC in. The out is to power up the camera with the cable through the gimbal and the DC in is to connect a cable to the gimbal and charge it. So we're gonna open the silicone door. Remember the one at the bottom is the one to charge your gimbal. So you want to plug in the USB-C connector right there and the normal USB to your socket or computer, whatever power source you're using. And we're gonna talk a bit more about the DC out. Through a normal USB to USB-C cable, now you can power your camera through the gimbal. So the battery of the gimbal works as a power bank for your GoPro and it can double the lifetime of the GoPro batteries. So great feature. To do so, we're going to connect the USB on the top door and we will connect this to the GoPro in the next steps. How to mount and to balance the camera on the gimbal. Very user-friendly. Now, we have two options to choose from. We said we can use the battery of the gimbal as a power bank for the GoPro. In that case, we need to remove the door of the GoPro. So we just take it off like that. And now we need to mount the GoPro on the gimbal upside down and I give you the reason why in a second. First of all, to mount the camera properly, if you hold your gimbal, you want to make sure you can read the number four of the iSteady Pro 4 logo upright. As you can see, now it's upside down. You don't wanna do that. Make sure your gimbal is tilted properly. So what you have to do is just to spin it the other way and now you can read the text upright. Same thing happens with the tilt motor, with the tilt axis. You want to see the pull text here upright. There is a pull text right here next to the buckle. So you wanna read it properly. So make sure it's facing up and not down like this. That's not the way, okay? Like that. To place the camera on the gimbal, we open up the spring buckle, simply drag it, pull it up and open up and we're gonna place the camera in the front of the gimbal. Simple as that. Now we are going to close it and you will see that the lower part of the buckle extends. So if you hold it, it will extend underneath right there. Pull it up and close it as it was. We have chosen to put the camera upside down because the connection of the USB-C port is on this side of the camera and now you simply want to plug it in. So by doing so we can power the battery once again through the gimbal. If we had left it the other way this port would have been hidden so we would not be able to charge the battery of the GoPro through the gimbal. Choice number one let's go to the option number two which is the one I actually prefer because in this case you cannot access the power button of the camera because it's hidden by this motor. For the second option, you can actually leave the door, the side door of the GoPro on the camera. And what you wanna do is to simply mount it upright, place it back on the mount. Once again, we pull the buckle all the way up and lock it in place. Now the power button is available and free to be used. So definitely that's the first choice you have to make. Do you prefer to have access to the connection for the USB-C port or do you want to have the power button available? If you choose the first option, remember that you need to press the power button before you mount the camera on the gimbal. Right, so far so good. We're going to learn how to turn the gimbal on and off. On the front of the gimbal here, you will find different buttons. The one we want to press right now at the beginning 
is the one with the red dot, which is also the recording button. Have a look on the right hand side of the gimbal. I just press the button, the power button, hold it. The four green lights will turn on and the gimbal will start balancing and turning on. You want to turn it off? Very simple. You just hold the red button, the power button, again for a few seconds until and the green lights disappear too. Now let's turn it back on because what we're going to do next is to update the firmware of the gimbal. The firmware basically is the software that runs the gimbal and we need to do so through the app. Let's download the app first. If you are on Apple, go to the iStore. If you are on Samsung, you can go to the Play Store. So I'm using the Samsung and I just go to my Play Store. We're going to look for HoM gimbal and you need to press on install now i've already installed it so you go and press install once done it will appear in your apps on your phone and you just want to open it up you can also open it up right here from the play store so let's do so the app will ask you to turn on the bluetooth and you can choose allow turning on but also make sure you go to the settings, make sure also your location is on. Now right here, we can actually scroll through. So don't choose the first gimbal you see, but we scroll through, in my case, to the third until I see the iSteady Pro 4 and I choose connect device. Now it's searching, my device is appearing and I choose Pro 4, that's my serial number. Perfect, we are inside the menu. We're gonna come back to the app later for the settings, but for now, we're just going to update the firmware. So go to more and you will see about us and firmware version. Go to firmware version and choose upgrade. Now you will start the process to upgrade and update your firmware. In my case, it has already the latest one, so I can't do much more from here, but you just need to update it. Perfect. As we are still in the app, actually, let's go back here with the arrow on the top left corner and we are going to calibrate the gimbal. So go to calibrate. Second option, the top right, start to attitude calibrate. Yes, we just say sure. Okay, now we have to place the gimbal in a few positions exactly as the images are saying on the screen. So just carry on and follow the instruction step by step. In this example, you want to place the gimbal horizontally with the camera facing down and have a look at the motors as well. You really need to put it in the exactly the same position and make sure you are on a flat surface for the gimbal to be balanced and calibrated properly. In this case, I just give you an example it will be something like this. So that's my first position of the image, but you want to be on a flat surface and a still surface. We're going to understand how to connect our camera, the GoPro Hero 10 to the gimbal. So we can control the camera through the buttons on the gimbal, but also through the app. What we're going to do is to turn the GoPro on. And here on the gimbal, I show you before I turn it on, there's a button at the back of the frame that says pair. It's a, it's a tiny round button. So just keep that in mind. We're going to turn our gimbal on. Once the camera has been tilted down, what you want to do is to double tap the pair button here at the back of the frame of the gimbal. So you simply go one and two, all right? One, two. And this green light will start flashing, which means the gimbal is looking for devices to connect to. So that's what we're going to do. I tilt the camera back up on the GoPro. We scroll down to go to the settings menu. We go to the second page of the settings under connections. We go to wireless connections. The first, we want to make sure that we go to on. So turn on your wireless connections. Connect a new device. Yes, that's what we want. Go and press on connect. Now we took a bit too long. So the green light disappeared on the gimbal. So we want to do that again. Tilt your gimbal up. 
double tap on the pair button one two green light is on now in the gopro under connection under the connect device we go to the remote and the gopro will start looking for another device and we just paired up the gimbal to the gopro you will see the green light is now stable and it will, it's not flashing anymore so the two devices are connected and now we understand how to use the gimbal in terms of how to control the camera and the movements the first way is through the handle we have a joystick right there and a few buttons on the gimbal itself the joystick is very simple it's like a video game so if you so if you go to the left with your joystick the camera will pan to the left if you go to the right the camera will pan to the right and so on if you tilt up camera will tilt up if you tilt down the camera will tilt down but you can also mix and match this movement so you can go upright simply do that with your fingers or down to the left so just play with it it's a lot of fun we have a tiny lever that says R and there's a circle around the R at the top and the bottom which means to rotate if I move the lever up one of the axes of the gimbal will rotate uh, counterclockwise and if we go down it will rotate the other way so that's something you can do on the gimbal we have the mode button and the modes are actually the different ways we can control the gimbal and I'm going to explain right now by default the gimbal comes in PF mode which is pan follow so panning the camera means to go from left to right and vice versa so whatever you do now with your gimbal the camera will only go from left to right and right to left it will not tilt up and down and we can test it out as you can see the camera is following the rotation of my wrist from left to right but it's not going up and down the camera is staying fixed facing forward if we press the mode button once again you will see these little lights on the left hand side are going to indicate the mode you are in so we just passed to ptf which is pan and tilt follow and that means the gimbal will follow either your tilting movements or panning so from left to right or up and down if i go down and left the gimbal will go down and left and so on so whatever i'm doing in terms of tilting and panning the gimbal will help me with that and follow me that's why it's called follow mode i press it once again and we go to lock mode in this mode the camera will not move whatever i'm doing with my hand if i go to left and right up and down the camera is still and still looking forward the last mode is called pov that's usually used for fast actions and the gimbal just reacts quickly to your movements but also all the axes of the gimbals are engaged now so not just the tilting and the panning motion but we can now place the camera on a diagonal angle as you can see it's following whatever i'm doing with my hand so you've got much more freedom with this mode once we are in pov mode there is a couple of nice features you might like one is called inception usually inception uh, effect when you are in pov you place your gimbal horizontally and you want to tilt your camera up you can do that with a joystick make sure the camera is nice and straight and now what you want to do for the inception mode is to simply use the joystick from left to right or vice versa and the camera will start spinning around and you can also move your gimbal back and forward and you will create this inception effect the second feature of the pov is also that you can use the gimbal and your camera in portrait mode for your social media content for example so very simple you place the camera with the joystick vertically make sure it's nice and straight and you can just use the gimbal there you go in portrait mode now we have the rec button as we have connected the gimbal to the camera we can control the camera through this button so if we press rec i'm now in photography mode i will take a photo 
you can also change the mode of the GoPro simply by double tapping the rec mode on the gimbal. One, two, and you've seen the mode of the camera changed. Now I'm in time warp. If I do it again, I go to video mode and so on. And I can still record through this rec button. I press it, the camera starts recording. If I want to stop it, press rec once again. The last button of the gimbal is the trigger here at the back. There's a T on it, trigger. Whenever you want to place your camera in the default position, you double tap it and you will go back to the original position. The last thing we're going to check out together, guys, is the app and maybe how to create time lapses because that's another cool feature. Let's go back to our app, the Hoham gimbal. Just open it up and we want to reconnect it. So make sure you scroll down to the iSteady Pro 4, connect device, choose your device, connection, and here we go inside the app. The first thing here says control. Let's click on it and you will see a joystick. It's like a circle, this thing here. That, that matches the movements of your joystick on the gimbal. So whatever you do with it, you go to left, the gimbal will go left, right, the gimbal will go right, up and down and so on. Once again, you can mix and match your movements. Very, very simple and basic. If you want to recenter, which is the trigger button on the gimbal, you just press recenter, top right, done. And you can also start recording with a shutter button at the bottom left of the screen. My camera just started to record. If you want to stop, press shutter once again, the camera will stop. And of course, we can control the camera modes, as we said before, exactly mirrored on the app. So you can scroll through the different modes. But if you want to go through the modes of the gimbal, they are listed at the very bottom here of your app. OK, so you can go to pan follow, pan and tilt follow, lock mode or POV. It's exactly the same as all the buttons and features on the handle of your gimbal. This is the battery level of the stabilizer. And what we can do next is to go back with this arrow. We can go to settings. These are being more complicated and mathematical if you want. But here you can set up the speed, for example, of the movements of your gimbal, the, the joystick speed, the joystick if you want to reverse the controls of the joystick, for example, it's all here. But I recommend to keep it as it comes by default. Don't get crazy with it. What we want to do next is to create motion time lapses where your gimbal will move and your camera will be set in time lapse mode. First of all, make sure you are in time lapse mode on the GoPro, but you can also just record a normal video and speed it up during the video editing process. That's completely up to you. But how you can do it on the app of the gimbal is right here. We go back to control on the left top corner here next to your joystick. There's one voice that says motion lapse. That's what we do. Now, it looks a bit complicated at the beginning, but what we want to do is to add a waypoint, which is right at the top of the app. You want to go to the plus button to create a starting point. And now with the joystick, you can move your gimbal and say, this is going to be my starting position. OK, I'm going to add a second point with a plus at the top right again. That's going to be my second position where I want the gimbal to end, for example. And with the joystick, I move my gimbal maybe upright just to give a bit of motion and a different position. And I can also change the angle of the rotation. So with this lever, with this fader, I can go up and down and you see the camera is tilting on the diagonal axis. And I can also add a third position so maybe I go down here and we have three different key points. Now I click on next and now choose the duration of my motion time lapse. So you can literally scroll through and say how long you want your time lapse to last, maybe 30 seconds. And then you click on begin. But before you do, 
make sure you start recording on your GoPro. As you can see, the gimbal started to move. So from my initial point, in 30 seconds, we'll follow the route we have created. So have fun and enjoy the time lapses. 